How do you think about artificial intelligence? I think it's more the question about intelligence, to be honest. I mean, it's definitely artificial. So I think there are several things, and we're actually about to announce a major action research program on this, possibly this week, where we're looking at two things. One is the type of decisions you make as an organization, and that includes micro decisions at the front line as well as macro strategic decisions. And in those decisions, look at the balance between abductive and inductive reasoning. Now, I probably need to explain that, but it's key. So inductive reasoning is kind of like inference from previous examples. Deductive is if A then B, inductive is all the cases of A have B, so I assume some probability basis it will happen the same way. That's actually how current LLMs work. Yeah. Um, and then there's abductive reasoning, which is human, uh, which is definitely linked to the role of aesthetics in human development. And whether art came before language or the other way around is slightly controversial, like with the art came first school. But basically what aesthetics does is it distances you from the material. So you see novel connections between things. And that allows us to work without training data sets, whereas LLMs need training data sets. So the abductive inductive reasoning one is a key principle. So if you look at some of the tests, for example, there was a major study published on one of the big consultancy firms, which show how much more productive they were using AI, or rather more specifically LLM. And to me, that just proved how bad consultancy has become, because all they're doing is synthesizing existing text. And AI will probably do that better. And they're less concerned about the truth. So I think that that's one factor. The other factor we're going to look at on the research program is what jobs you need to do, which AI can actually do better. But if you don't do them as a human being, you don't develop high capacity anyway. And so that's going to be a program we want to create an audit tool that will run over six months to January next year. And part of the reason for that is the danger from AI is not that it will exceed humans in intelligence, but the human beings will dumb themselves down to the point where AI will outperform. And this is epigenetics, we can lose capacity quite quickly. So if you look at the studies coming out on cognitive decline, we all thought AI would produce cognitive decline. None of us thought it would happen that quickly. If you look at apples, and th this is another issue, by the way, there's so much money involved in AI, you can't trust any of the research. So people dismiss Apple because they say Apple are falling behind in AI. I actually think they're having the sense to wait and see. They're not caught up in the hype curve. But their research demonstrated that AI doesn't work when tasks get very complex. Also, LLMs are training themselves off, off the internet. Well, I think 30, 40% of the internet is now AI generated or it's some very high figure. And if a model feeds off itself, it's got a real problem. But there's a whole series of issues there. I call it artificial inference, not artificial intelligence.